right, welcome back, my dear student. So, Edwin from the future, again, teaching you some more stuff about PHP, right? But anyway, on this lecture, we're going to be learning how to actually write to the file, right? We already know how to open the file, and if we don't have it, it's going to create it. But now it's time for us to put some information in there, right? So let's go, and let's do it. So I'm going to grab the opening files one, uh, file, <laughs> and I'm going to actually rename it do a save as and I'm gonna say writing files save alright so it's gonna have the same file here and remember when I told you this was a handle here well let's use it alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say if and I'm gonna put all this in there and I take that semicolon out of there All right, and I'm just going to say else, first of all, we'll close this right here, and then else we can say something like echo, we're not, could not. Something like this. File was not okay, or the application application was not able to write on the file. Something like that. All right. It's just I, I wanted to teach you how to handle this information coming back. All right. So what we want to do is actually before we want to actually write to the file. So we're going to use another function called fwrite. And it's going to take two parameters. First, the file that it needs to access and what it needs to write. In this case, we're going to be writing like, uh, I don't know, I love PHP and this is really, really good stuff. Something like this. Make sure you put your semicolons there, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So let's save it and now let's run it. So I'm going to go here and you're going to see there. Let's just refresh here. All right, wasn't able to run it to Actually, we have to come to the demo right here. And there we go. And as you can see, I love PHP and this is really good stuff. So it was able to write to the file. Pretty cool, right? Let's go here and let's just put this one here. Save it. And now let's come and refresh. Let's open this up a little bit. I'm going to do it another side, all right? And I refresh. And as you can see, it will actually rewrite everything again. All right? So this is how you write to files in PHP, and this is how you handle that information go coming back with an if statement. All right? So anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture. I hope you're having a lot of fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.